So C++ gives us a string data type. A string is a newer data type to C++. In the old C language, we had strings, but they were actually just an array of characters. Now a string is a special built-in class that allows us to define it and gives us several built-in functions. So for example, here I have a string that is declared. Because we created an object from it, we can specify, for example, sentence dot and get its length. This way we can find out how many characters are in our string. There's other things that we can do with some built-in functions. One of the more common things that we can do is use the at method. And this returns the character at that specific index. If we run it, we see that our size or length, which are basically equivalent, is 55. And the character at the fifth index is i. If we recount, you'll notice that the i, or in this case, the second i, is actually the sixth character. That's because our indexing, just like with arrays, starts at zero. Just as we can do various things with our string, such as printing it out, we can also get a value. Now, there is one small problem. In this case, I have a C out. We're going to print out our old string. We're going to get a new string. And then we want to print out what the new string is. So we have this as a string, more than a collection of characters. I'm going to put this is my new string. But when I run it, you notice that all it prints out is this. That's because our CN command works only for the first break. Once we get to that break, it no longer is going to work for us. So instead of using CN like that, we're going to use a built-in function in C++ called getLine. Now, getLine doesn't show anything just yet, and that's because we need to include a specific type of header. We include our string header, and now we have our getLine. There's two things we're going to need. We're going to need to specify where we're going to get our information from, so our string tool, which is CN, and then the string that we're going to pass it into. There is an optional third parameter that I can use. By default, it's going to look for a new line character. We could specifically change this to be, for example, a tab character, something like that, but we're going to leave it as a default. This is my new string. And now, when we type enter key, it repeats back the entire string for us, just as we would expect. As with other data types, we can also use our comparison operators to compare, for example, using the equality, inequality, greater than, less than, etc. While it's a little bit harder to determine what string is going to be bigger or less than another string, it is possible. However, the most common that you're going to use is your equality to see if two strings match up. For example, if you're doing a password and want to make sure that the passwords match. And that is how we use our string data type.